What's up guys, your boy Shane here. And today we're showing you guys how to reconnect your smartwatch to your phone if you disconnect by any means, or pretty much just switching it over from a new from an old phone to a new phone. So today we have the, the Apple Watch SE here and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. What we're gonna be doing is pretty much opening this up first and foremost. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and format this watch. So how do you go ahead and inform it to swatch? Let me go ahead and put it up on the screen so you guys can see. All right, guys, so the first thing you want to do is go into settings. So basically we're looking for the settings app, open it up, and then we're going to go to the general tab. And then we are going to be going all the way down till we see reset your Apple Watch. Just hit reset, erase all contents, reset all... Um, now we're gonna go ahead and reset all contents. You guys see there, hit reset, put the code again. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna wipe. Go ahead and erase all. It's gonna basically go ahead and erase. And you just wait for it to come back up. So as you guys can see, it's pretty much erased now. Now, Next step is pretty much after erasing the watch, you're gonna be basically repairing this watch back to your phone. Now let's put it back down there. Apple Watch is still going, I thought it was finished now. All right guys, so the Apple Watch is now reset. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this phone. Now what I'll be doing is just putting it next to your watch. It's gonna ask to continue. Set up for myself. Now it's going to ask you to scan the watch itself. After scanning, we'll now say update. Update now. And the watch will be basically setting up everything for you. And you're pretty much done. Now what should be prompted is to put the email back in there with your password and Apple Watch lock to owner. You're gonna have to put your Apple ID and everything back into the watch um, when into here because it's basically telling you that it's registered to a device currently. So once you do that, you are pretty much set with everything and you are good to go. Hope this helped you in some way in basically reconnecting your Apple smartwatch to your phone. But that's it for today's video. If you liked it, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.